What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today, we are back here with some CWC match review number 29 between the host nation, India, and the Minows of England. Of course, we do know, well, we will get into it a bit later, the table, the upcoming fixtures, but there is plenty to talk about. This is what really kicks off someone's weekend. This is the way to, to have a Monday. Honestly, there's not much better than this right now. England are officially out of the World Cup. They lose by 100 runs again. And I want to say cricket is officially dead in that country. They are officially done. Joe Root should retire and work at Subway. There's plenty of things to happen. But hey, if you guys are new around here, hit subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below all of your thoughts on this one. How this makes you feel in your heart, in your stomach, just internally. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This... This could be a game of the tournament, like as good as the Kiwis in Australia was. This is what makes someone feel something inside. So, hey, let's just get straight into it and talk about it. Google still still giving England the chance to win this. So, anyways, we'll, we'll leave that out. Player of the match. He's leading from the front. Hit. Man, Sharma, he is standing up big in this World Cup. 87 off 101. Slowed up a little bit, but the way he kicked off this innings, some of the shots he played, the pull shots, classic row at Sharma. There was one where he, like, flicked it around the hip for six as well. Just, just horny stuff, arousing. Um, Hitman, you know, obviously... We've known, you know, the last couple of years as he's been captaincy, it was that whole, you know, awkward transition of Coley being removed as captain and then moving Rowett in. It kind of left, you know, the fan base of India not knowing if it was a great decision. It's it's a, it's an amazing decision now looking back at it. I mean, he is seriously leading from the front. He's been the best captain of World Cup and standing up with the sticks. So there's not much more you can ask for from the hitman. All right, <laughs> let's get straight into the scorecard. I am trying to not do this quickly, but I'm trying to get into a memes episode straight away after this. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's crack into it. India into bat first. Hitman said he would have liked to bat first. You probably, going into after the first innings, you would have preferred to bowl first and then chase this down. Bit of dew started to set in on the pitch. It was a little bit wet in the outfield. So you would have preferred to chase. India only made 230 here. You, like, they batted okay, but you think England, unless bearing a crazy collapse like we saw, should have chased this down with advantage conditions. But they completely make a mockery of themselves, and I think they're booking their planes back home to Birmingham right as we speak. Let's get into it. India, we just spoke about Hitman, but again, sexy, super. Um, I'm trying to think of Rohit Sharma things. He deserves a couple of Vada paths after this. Give him what he wants. He might be dining with the Pakistan team because they have all the um, the carbs over there, like uh, Imam al Huck said. So, yeah, just <laughs> great old stuff around here. Does fall short of 13 from that ton, but he's playing just a selfless... Every innings that he is playing, like, he doesn't care if he's getting the milestone. He doesn't care if he's getting 50 or whatever. He's just playing to set his team up from the get-go and... This is exactly what we saw during the Asia Cup, and now he's, like, taking it to another level. So, yeah, you do love to see that. Like, this is so strange to see Hitman only the three sixes and only a strike rate of 86, which normally you see him over 100, but it just shows a captain's innings. When wickets started to tumble, he had to hang around. So, yeah, love that. Shutman Gill... Unfortunate. I mean, he, yeah, look, gets a good ball there from Chris. Chris Wokes, nine. He's gone for nine. Hasn't been, like, he's been okay without being great since returning. Good game against Bangladesh where he looked pretty good. And then this is unfortunate. Virat Kohli, a, a duck of nine fucking balls. I don't, I, it's hard to put into words what we saw, but it's okay. Just a little blip on the radar. Wanted to give his favorite England player, Ben Stokes, a free catch, which I find heartwarming as we know he loves Ben Stokes. And yeah, it's all just a bit of kindness. Warming up for the next game. There's nothing wrong with that. He didn't want to waste a good innings on Minows of England. He wanted to save a good knock against good teams. So I totally get that from Coley. I 100% get it. Shireas Iyer, another short ball gets him out. It's 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 concerning. Um, like, I think the last game he went out to a short... There's too many times Iyer is going out to a short delivery to, to something that he should just pull down to the ground as a pull shot or commit to it and try and pull it for six I think he needs to get in the nets with Hitman 
and teach him how to play a fucking pull shot properly. But he goes for four off 16. Not ideal. It's definitely not ideal. And they were looking like they could have crumbled here. Thankfully, Hitman stayed out there. KL, again, not like a blitz of an innings, but they just had to build another little platform. 39 off 58. He skies one. Out he goes. So you come on, Yadav. This is why you, you have someone as good as him in the squad, on the bench, ready to come in and make an impact. We know no heartache. We know the last game, Surya got absolutely fucking burnt by Coley when he got run out. So he didn't get much of a chance to really show an impact this World Cup. Keeps his spot and makes an impact here late. I mean, India could have really fallen away here for under 200. But thankfully, Surya, 49 or 47, four fours and a six. Again, just enjoyable to watch. He always damn is making a mockery of David Willey. Until he got him out, so that's okay. Doesn't matter. One short of a 50. Selfless. Jadu. Oh, hold on. What's my mouse doing? Do you guys see that? I'll edit that out. That's just my dodgy mouse. It's I need to I need to buy a new one. Anyway. So yeah, no, spoke about you. Jadu! Eight for 13. Look, absolutely plumbed by Dil Rashid. Bold well, I thought, did the spinners for some point. Sham God. Did nothing with the bat, but what he did with the ball, we'll get into. Boomerang hits a nice four, um, and then 16 off 25, run out off the last ball, and Kuldeep Yadav also hit himself a boundary, uh, nine not out off 13. So, 230, you're not feeling great about that. Like, obviously, you can defend anything. India's got arguably the best bowling attack in the world, but... Probably doesn't feel enough um, into the bowlers here, though. So, okay. Now, I'm normally the man who's not a big David Willey fan. He's probably the pick of the bowlers here for, for England. Three for 45 off 10. Did take a few wickets, but the man... I mean, Hitman destroyed him early, let's be real. Chris Wokes bowled okay. Two for 33 off 9. Adil Rashid, two for 35 off 10. Mark Wood, one for 46. The luck now Super Giants legend back in his home ground there. Not, not not, an ideal homecoming. Liam Livingston, the Punjab Kings legend, did not bowl well. None for 29 off four. And Moen Ali, none for 37 off eight. So, like, you look at the bowling scorecard, and it's a pretty solid performance all around there from the Pommies. Like, there's nothing there that says we've got carded, we've made a mistake here. That's an all-around great effort. But then you've got to go and do it with the bat. I don't know if they know that, you know, you, you do one side of the game and then you need to do the other side of the game just as well to win. Um, and they decided, no, we're okay with that. We're going to have an early night and go hit the town. So I get that. Like, it might have been free drinks all night or something or I don't understand. But they wanted to get out of there as soon as possible. Let's get into it. England. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, England, what are you doing? The defending champions. We appreciate the laughter. Of course, 2023 has been a somewhat tough year, like usual. And um, they're giving us lots of entertainment here uh, late in the year. So, <sighs> makes you just feel, oh, damn, it makes you feel good, doesn't it? All right, into it. They started okay. What were they, none for 30? So, they were none for 30. They lost the first wicket of Dawid Milan, who gets a rocket there by Boomer. Bolt so well did Boomer and Sham God early. Siraj, that is what they do. They give you nothing early. And that pressure is on early. Like, you just try to then play shots because you've had such a slow start. Chop on. See you later. Like, Johnny Bairstow, of course, gone for 14. Dawid Milan chops on. He's gone for 16. Under pressure, and it just it just all fell away very, very quickly, didn't it? Alan DeGeneres, Joe Root, he gets... Look, with all due respect, a great delivery there from Boomer. The man was just on none for one. So a golden duck. Ben Stokes... <laughs> The man really came to India to do pitch inspections and get some free match payments from CSK or something like, what's happening, Ben? You retired so you could come back into the team to not bowl, to bat like shit and play two games and then leave. Was it for the free cuisine? Do you like Indian food? Is that what gets you to, to go over and unretire? But anyways, I guess well played and um, I guess you'll have a moral victory in the ashes next time. So that's okay. Josh Butler. It's been a horrible tournament for him, the skipper. Let's be brutally honest. The man won the orange cap in the IPL in 2022, I think it was. He comes into this World Cup. I'm expecting something pretty big. He embarrassed his entire nation. It's time to go back to Ireland. Moeen Ali, 15 off 31. Livingston, 27. So, look, Punjab King legend tries to do something at the end, but it's just not enough. 27. Kuldeep Yadav. 
<laughs> oh, the man, the myth, the legend. There was also um, Witch Delivery. This one of Joss Butler. Oh, my goodness. Good luck playing it. Like, with all due respect to Butler, it's a tough one. Uh, Cordy, you have to Butler. Out. Castle, what an absolute beauty. Josh Butler stands there in disbelief. My word, he did. He had no idea what happened. I don't think many people at the ground knew what happened except for a cool deep more magic from him. So, yeah, pretty much all over Red Rover by that point. Chris Wokes, he's gone for 10. He gets stumped. It's never a good opportunity. David Willey, the all-rounder. He's probably batting a bit low for an all-rounder, but 16 not out off 17. Adil Rashid, 13. And Mark Wood, he tried his best, but he gets an absolute Yorker from Bumra, and he had to walk off. And that was the game wrapped up. India thump England by 100 runs. It's just embarrassing for the Pommies. But all around, the credit has to go to India. Fielded well for majority. Batted very... You know what? I was about to say batted very well, but... Hitman batted really well. Sir, you batted quite well. You had a few other little help helps out. But it wasn't a, a batting masterclass by any means. It, it was the bowling side of things, wasn't it? And just the heat they bring. Boomerah, 3 for 32 off 6.5. The man only... He didn't even have to bowl more than 8 overs. Like, you feel good if you're an Indian fan that you get to rest up Bumra for an extra few overs there than he would need to. Mohamed Siraj not getting the wicket rewards, but he's so tired early. That sounds really weird. I'll edit that out. But you knew what I meant in cricketing terms. None for 33 off six. Mohamed Sham, God, the man, the myth, the legend. You cannot keep him out of this team. I don't want to see him ever lose his spot in this World Cup ever a fucking again. He's been the man, he's been the golden arm, and every time he comes on, he's taking wickets. He is dangerous out there, and he's a strike bowler. You cannot take him out of this team right now. I'm sorry, Shadul Takua, you're not getting back in this team, that's for sure. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, anyways, that's okay. Sham God, Supreme, 4 for 22, off 7. <laughs> <laughs> what can't the man do? Uh, Kuldeep Yadav, 2 for 24 off 8. So, again, just brilliant as always. And Ra Vindra Jadeja, 1 for 16 off 7. So, super tight, super economical. And India, too good, too strong. Monstered the Pommies by 100 runs. Still, England thinks, uh, Google thinks they're a chance. So, anyways, that's interesting. On to, where should we start? The table. <laughs> What is going on? Hold on a minute. Should, where should... Hold on. Where should we start? Let's start from the fucking bottom and work our way up, huh? England. Hold on. Is that is that Wales or England? What, what What's that? Okay. Last. Last, fellas. Equal with Bangladesh. If you told me before this World Cup that we would be over halfway through and the two bottom teams would be Bangladesh, I'd probably believe you. And England... I'd want to say I'd believe you as well. This is just outstanding stuff. The Netherlands are better than England. We know that. I want to see Netherlands at every World Cup and make England go through the qualifiers against Singapore and fucking Hong Kong and stuff. Um, Afghanistan in seventh. They've been okay. Quality without being amazing. Pakistan, they've lost four in a row. And uh, yeah, not looking good. Sri Lanka, actually been okay. Their last few. So look, they're, they're working into things. They're in a decent position. They've had too many injuries, but they're going to need everything to go right if they want to somehow qualify. And then into the Super Fours, which feels quite set. It would take a miracle for either Australia or the Kiwis to fall out of this position from here, but we have seen anything happen. But Australia, fourth. Kiwis, third. South Africa, second. First, of course, India, who are deciding that they're not going to lose an, uh, they're not going to lose a game this entire tournament. So that's always good there. But yeah, so that is the table. Let's go into the upcoming matches. Also, just an FYI, if anyone can hear my nose or my allergies, it's been really bad here the last few days. I'm not going to lie. So I probably sound like shit. Uh, anyways, Afghanistan, Sri Lanka. Where's this? Is this in Chennai? That'd be cool. Maharashtra. What stadium is this? Oh, Pune. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. No, I see what's happening here. Okay. Just sometimes the names and everything like that can get you mixed up. But, so that should be an interesting game. Actually, decide. So, Sri Lanka win that. They go to six points. It puts pressure on Australia to keep winning. Pakistan, Bangladesh. Okay. Uh, New Zealand, South Africa. That is fucking massive. Where is this played? 
Maharashtra as well. Okay, so that'll be interesting there. Um, if we can just Google, please. If we can keep going. India, Sri Lanka, where's this? This could be a mini bashing. One Keddy. Okay, beautiful. That'll be packed out there in Mumbai. Hopefully, oh yeah, so Kamar Yadav puts on a show in front of the home fans. Uh, Netherlands, Afghanistan. NZ Pakistan, England v Australia, that'll be huge, I'm a little bit scared, I'm not going to lie, um, and then India, SA, Australia, Afghanistan, NZ Sri Lanka, so there's, there's still some big games, India, Netherlands, England, Pakistan, so there's a few games that are amongst it that are going to decide the rest of the table, just while we're here as well, Let's go to the statistics. I haven't done this in a while. At the top is Quinny Big De Kock, 431 runs, averaging 71. He's going okay. The man is going to retire after this World Cup as well. Pretty weird. David Candice Warner, 413. Ratchin Ravindra Jadeja, uh, 406. Hitman, 398. And Aiden Mark Rum. 356. So he's going okay, the, the South African skipper. Um, the wickets. Z what the hell? I didn't even know that. Zorba Zampa Adam is at the top. Marcus Stoinis's uh, fiance, 16 wickets. He's going quite well, actually. Um, economic, yeah, it's okay. Bumra, no surprise. Santner, no surprise. Jansen having a great World Cup. And Shaheen has Buller Afridi also going quite well. Higher scores. Fuck, there's been some big scores. Best bowling figures. The Sham Gods on there twice. Uh, batting average. Travis Head, of course, after one damn game, bowling average, most hundreds, and just all of that crap down here. So that's all pretty much it right there. Most 50s. Pathum Nasanka. That is my true goat. All right, we're going to finish up there. That will cap us off. India, destroy Minia England. And, and that's just pretty much it. So, hey, if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. Go India. Cheers, England, for the laugh. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see everyone in the next one.